Hello, my name's Erwin Rothenberg, and today we will discuss how replacing instruments can create an unexpected problem. When you are considering the replacement of an older model instrument with a newer model, several factors should be taken into account, including the cost per test, operator time, processing time, maintenance and calibration requirements, and reporting systems. But that's not all. It is a common practice to substitute reagents manufactured by another company that are compatible with the instrument as a way of saving money and lowering the cost per test. Of course, this is predicated on validation studies allowing this. I recently came across an interesting case where a laboratory did just this on the assumption that regulatory requirements that apply to their original instrument were equally applicable for their replacement model. They were, but with a twist. Here's the story. The laboratory had always operated as moderately complex. The qualifications of the staff, including education and experience, met CLIA standards. All other mandated positions, including the laboratory director and the technical consultant, were also in compliance. The laboratory had, for a number of years, a chemistry analyzer in which the reagents, supplied by a different manufacturer, were categorized as moderately complex for most of the tests performed on it, although some other tests available were categorized as high complex. The laboratory only performed testing for the moderately complex analytes, thus remaining in compliance. However, recently they decided to upgrade to a newer model of the same instrument. The name was the same, except the newer model had a plus added to the name. The laboratory assumed the designated testing complexities were the same. However, it was later discovered during a survey and subsequently corroborated by the reagent manufacturer that the same outside reagents provided for this model of instrument had not been submitted for moderate complexity categorization by the FDA. And therefore, all tests performed using these reagents were, by default, high complexity. Now, this created an immediate crisis for the laboratory. The lab director, technical consultant, and testing staff did not meet clear requirements for high-complexity testing. The corporate owners of the lab had to immediately cease all testing on this instrument, severely impacting its operation, and then determine the next course of action, either replace the instrument or replace personnel. Ultimately, it chose the latter, that is, replacing their staff. Also, the performance specifications that had been performed upon installation did not meet high complexity requirements. They had to include the verification of analytical sensitivity and specificity. The moral of this story, do not make any assumptions about a newer model instrument based on the previous model. It can be hazardous to your operation. Now be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for our newest content. We've included relevant educational products to what we've discussed in the video, so click on the description box for the links, or click on the little icon on the top right to view the products. Thank you very much.